Hey guys, so just before we kick today's video off, um, I've been contacted by someone from my cluster, uh, Moo Raven 420 They've just asked me to do a shout out for their business. So we're just going to quickly hop on um, Google Drive and sort of have a look at what they're selling, talk you through that, and then we'll uh, pull some shards. So here is um, examples of the flags that Moon Raven's business makes. Um, so we've got Dragon Ball Z, Mandalorian, Naruto, um, ACDC, the Rolling Stones, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, really cool artwork. But if you want as well, they do customizable designs as well. Completely customizable. Um, it's three by three or three by five feet. Um, and it's start their flags are starting at fifteen pounds each. Uh, sorry, fifteen dollars each. Sorry, different country, different rules. Um, yeah, so you know, you want to spice up your bedroom, your dining room, uh, I don't, your gaming room, your lounge, whatever. Want a flag? Uh, please get in contact with them, and they'll happily uh, make that for you. Unfortunately, they only ship in um, USA and I believe Puerto Rico. Um, you know, I'm sure they're looking to expand and maybe hopefully at some time in the future they'll be able to ship out further across uh, the world and even potentially to the UK as well. But yeah, so this is their site. And like I said, I'm going to leave the email to get in contact if you want to get one um, and the pricing and the link for this all in the description below. So if you are interested in getting a flag, uh, yeah, please get in contact with Moon Raven and I'm sure she'll help you out. No, I'm sure she'll sort you out. Hey guys, and welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video with your boy, The Real Deal. So today we are going to pull in some uh, shards. It's two times void. But just before that, I'm just going to have a quick look at my account. So the thing that I really need the most at the moment is um, like supportive champions and revivers. So, you know, I'm quite blessed when it comes to nukers. I'm absolutely stacked when it comes to that. But the other thing that I'm really after is revivers and support champions. So uh, most wanted champions would definitely be Necred. I mean, Sifi would be amazing as well. But I really would like Necred just because, you know, he keeps your nukers alive and they can just pump out damage. It'd really help me. Um, you know, I can get to like gold two in 3v3, but I'd like to stay there. I feel that Necred, you know, I could have him on defense, but use him offensively as well. And it'd really boost my account. And the other champion I'm really after is Yumiko um, just just for this ability really just um, you know being able to put people's skills um, on cooldown is just massive and yeah these two I feel are probably boost my account the most so yeah let's just get straight into it and I definitely feel like I should be getting something um, you know I got to be in mercy now an um, interesting little fact for you if you are free to play and end game you get about 50 shards a month so that means every six months you you should get a legendary. You should hit mercy and get a legendary. But that's pretty pretty rubbish if you ask me. That means you know you'll probably get two champions, two legendary void champions a year. I really feel like that's something Polarian really need to look into. Another Umbro Enchantress. She's a great champion. I really like her. I only just recently got on my account, and she is absolutely amazing. Um, Two, two turn provokes, great for the arena, um, great for Hydra, and also really good for Doom Tower as well, uh, for waves. So really strong champion. Oh my god, <laughs> what is going on? Getting nothing today. Okay. Whew. Got uh, 20 more to go, come on. Lua. Hits really hard. Never really used her, but I know that she she can hit pretty hard. Fellhound is the fastest um, campaign farm in the game. Oh my god! Come on, ten more shots. There we go. Oh yes! That wow, wow. I mean, I've already got Constantine. And I was just like, what the hell? How can you have two, like, we'll look at my account at the moment, but another Arbiter, absolutely amazing. Um, that's really going to boost my teams uh, for Arena. That's going to help me so much. But another Constantine, what the hell? Like, two dupes as well. There's not that many Void Champions. Like, 
let's just have a quick look at my account. So guys, I just um, quickly um, just had a quick look and there's 41 um, legendary ch uh, Void Champions. And it's just like, it's unbelievable. Like I've managed to pull a dupe, Constantine and Arbiter. You know, just to think that every six months you have to wait for this and then to just get two dupes is just painful. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Constantine at the moment. I probably am just going to, you know, use him in Faction Gardens, Guardians for now. Um, and probably when I build up my account a bit more, um, I will like merge him and stuff. But it's just, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm speechless. Um, it's like mixed emotions. It's painful. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I feel like they need a better system in place because I feel they should give you like a one free roll. So with my Constantine, I could just re-roll the dice again and get a chance to get a unique champion um, because, you know, free to play, it, like I said, it's every six months to get a new champion and that's just painful. It really is. <sighs> I don't know. Mixed, mixed emotions. That's all I can say. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Short one today. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up, though. And make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.